So uh, Evernote is basically a series of uh, notebooks. So for example, over here we have the notebooks. At the moment you can see I have one notebook so far, the best book list ever. Um, and on that notebook you have many different sticky notes. Uh, these are individual notes about certain books. Uh, now when you first load on you may be on a different view. So for example up here you can see where it says view. There are a few different ways to look at it. You might want to look at it like this, uh, where you can easily click on the different books up here. Um, this one over here, which is another bit of a list. Or well, the one I prefer, which is this one over here, where you can actually see the individual notes uh, and click on them, and then the information appears on the right-hand side. So what you'll find under each of these little uh, notes is a mini book review. You'll have the title of the book up the top here, um, a picture of the book, information on the author or illustrator, uh, the call number, and just a very short uh, review of the book or a little bit of information um, so that when a teacher is looking at this book, they can get a quick, easy idea of what this book would help them in the classrooms. For example, this one here, um, uh, on this on the thing of bullying. Um, what you'll see at the top here is these different uh, words here. These are tags. What has basically happened is that each of the books you can tag with lots of different uh, keywords. For example, here this is tagged with the idea of bullying, courage, friendship, how we express ourselves, jealousy... Uh, and lots of other ones as well. So what basically you would do is when you are putting in a new book, you can add any word, any keyword that you think teachers would want to search by. Now, obviously, it's not about you know, reinventing the wheel. There are lots of tag names already created. Uh, the ones I've created so far, you'll see over here under the uh, headings of the PYP attitudes, uh, in the names of certain authors or illustrators, uh, classroom issues, concepts, the genres of type of books, uh, books that fit really well into the learner profiles, uh, books that are excellent for doing literature circles, uh, ones on certain individual topics, and on the transdisciplinary themes. So for example, if we looked into uh, classroom authors and illustrators, here you can see that so far we have books by these authors. So if I was looking for, oh, Peter H. Reynolds, I love him, click on that and it instantly will take you to any books that were written by Peter H. Reynolds. Um, for example, classroom issues, you might want to look for some books on friendship. So by clicking over here, you find all the books that have been tagged with the friendship tag. You can see up here, each of them has friendship in its tagline. Friendship again like that. So what it basically allows you to do is to very quickly uh, search. You can also use the search up here. So if I wanted just to type in the word friend, uh, it's now going to find any book here that has the word friend in it, whether it be... Uh, in a keyword or even just in the review. So for example here you can see that I used the word friend in this review quite a few times so that might be an example of a book that's good uh, to do with the idea of friendship. And one last way that you can also search is by going up into this button that says tags. When you click on it it has all of the tags that have been put onto any book that you can scroll down through. Uh, if you know a specific tag that you're looking for you can just start to type it. For example if I type in bullying before I've even finished typing the whole word, I can click on that tag and it will take me to any of the books that are to do with that uh, on the idea of bullying. So just another way that you can search.